Hey Sunny family, what's up? Welcome back, I'm your Sunny Trainer Sydney and today I have a great workout that you can do at home using an under desk elliptical as well as some light dumbbells. All right, so we're gonna be working today on building our cardio as well as our strength. So both with our intervals that we're gonna be doing on our machine as well as with our dumbbells, we're gonna be working with some resistance. All right, so building that strength in our legs as well as building it in our full body when we're doing some exercises with those dumbbells. All right, so we're gonna get started with a nice and light warm up. First with some chair squats. So bend back just to sit on that sofa or chair or whatever else you're using. And nice and easy, nice and gentle as you're sitting down on that sofa and squeeze those glutes at the top. One more. All right, we're gonna do some head rolls. So opening up that neck a little bit, stretching everything out before we get into our workout, opening up that range of motion. And let's go to the other side. Working out all the kinks and just getting our body ready to get moving. Let's bring that head from side to side. Little neck stretch here. Nice and gentle and keep breathing as we're moving. All right, let's move it down to the shoulders with some shoulder rolls. We're gonna roll those shoulders forward. And back. Nice, full, big circles. We're gonna shake out those arms a little bit, so just swing those in front of your body. All right, let's grab our elliptical. We're gonna warm up on this a little bit before we get into our workout today. So, resistance of one, set up that elliptical wherever feels comfortable to you. And we are just gonna get into some nice and light pedaling here. All right, so whatever pace you wanna go at right now, this is just your time to warm up your body before we get into the harder part of this workout. So today we're gonna to be going in between doing cardio intervals on our elliptical and then mixing it up with some exercises with our dumbbells. Now for the weight of your dumbbells, choose whatever you like. I picked something light today, mine are three pounds each, but you can really use whatever weight you want. It's really based on your fitness level. So maybe you wanna use fives, tens, twenties if you're really strong, whatever works for you. All right, so we have a lot of different fun stuff to get through today, so get excited. So we're starting out first with our cardio intervals. And these are super basic intervals. We're gonna be doing one minute on our elliptical with 30 seconds of rest in between. And we're gonna repeat that four times. So four minutes of work total per set. I want you to choose whatever resistance works well for you today. We're gonna to be pushing our pace no matter what resistance you choose. So that is your option. I think I'm gonna take mine up to a resistance of six today just to challenge my strength a little bit more because this is a full body strength workout. I want to challenge you guys to take that resistance up if you're feeling ready for it. All right, we've got about 20 more seconds and then we're going to start our first one minute interval. Ready, in five, four, three, two, and one, add on that resistance, and let's push those legs. We have one minute of hard work, and then we'll take our 30 seconds of rest. All right, I want you guys focused on each interval, pushing those legs as fast as you can with the resistance that you have set. Working on building that cardio, challenging those legs through that resistance. Halfway there. 
Keep pushing. Nice and easy. Control that breathing. Ten more seconds. Keep pushing those legs. In five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, nice and easy. Feel free to relax those legs completely during our rest. We're really pushing it during those intervals today. So I want you guys to make the most of that 30 second rest. Now, if you wanna grab some water during this time, this is a great time to do so. So if you have water close by, feel free to take a sip. <sighs> nice deep breath. Let's get ready for that next interval. Coming up quick, ready? In five, four, three, two, and one. We have another minute on our under desk elliptical. Push those legs. Let's see if we can push that pace a little bit faster with this interval. Now during these intervals, I want you guys to focus on keeping those feet flat on the foot plates. All right, sometimes when we go too fast or we get out of control, our feet can be moving around. Maybe our toes are coming up, our heels are coming off. That can be hard on the ankles and put a little bit more pressure on those. So we wanna make sure that those feet are firmly on there whatever pace is necessary to control that. Great job, guys. 15 more seconds to go. Keep pushing. In five, four, three, two, and one. All right, 30 second rest, soak it in. How's that resistance feeling for you? If you ever need to change it throughout this workout, feel free. Maybe it feels a little too challenging. Maybe it's a little too easy. Whatever it is, if you need to bump it up or maybe take it back down a little bit, whatever works for you today, just keep being mindful of how your body is feeling and adjust your workout to those needs. All right, ready? Third interval. Get ready, get excited. We're gonna get started in three, two, and one. All right, push that pace. Feet are flat on those foot plates. Nice deep breaths. In this interval, I want you guys to bring your attention back to that posture. Remember when we're on our under desk elliptical, your core should be nice and tight and your back should be in a nice upright posture position. Always thinking about that posture. See, even me, I'm reclined right now, but my back is nice and straight. I'm not slouched in the chair like this. So no slouching. Nice, good posture. Almost there. In three, two, and one. Great job, you guys. Nice deep breath. Shake out those legs if you need it. Grab some water. We're gonna hit one more cardio interval and then we will get into some fun body weight, or not body weight, we have our dumbbells. Excuse me. We have our dumbbell exercises coming up next. All right, get excited. I know I am. All right, ready. Our very last cardio interval. Let's do it. In three, two, one, let's go. One minute. Push those legs. Come on, focus in. This is the last interval of this set, so I really want you to push yourself. We want this cardio base to follow us through our exercises so that we can be burning as many calories as possible throughout this whole workout. Right, so get that heart pumping. We will have a little rest soon. Fifteen more seconds. Stay on it. In five, four, three, two, and one. 
All right, slow to a stop. We have another 30 second rest. So during your rest, let's move that elliptical out of the way. If you need to grab a quick sip of water, feel free. And when you're ready, let's grab those dumbbells. We have a bunch of different exercises that we're going to be doing today. Our first one is that chair squat. All right, so just what we were doing during our warm up, but with dumbbells on our sides. During all of these exercises, I want you guys to scoot out so that your bum is on the edge of your seat. This is gonna be a lot easier position. We have a lot more range of motion with our arms here, and it's gonna be easier to stand up and out of that seat. All right, ready? Chair squats in three, two, and one. Nice and easy, up out of that seat. We're squeezing our glutes at the top of our squat and we are slowly, gently lowering into that sofa. Dumbbells are right at your sides. Keep it up. Last one. All right, we're gonna switch to calf raises. So keep your legs right out there. We're gonna put our dumbbells right above our knees and we're just going to raise those calves, lifting those dumbbells off the ground. Keep breathing. No rest in between exercises, but we are gonna be switching up the body groups that we're working. All right, so kind of keeping that heart rate up. Great, give me a few more. All right, next exercise, we're gonna switch to some external deltoid rotation. So elbows are nice and tucked in at your sides. Dumbbells are straight out in front of you. We're gonna rotate those dumbbells out and pull them back in. Ready, my elbows are staying at my sides. They're not moving. The only thing that is moving is me rotating those arms outwards. Out and in, nice and easy. Last one. All right, next exercise, we're gonna come into a curl to overhead press. So dumbbells are down by your sides. We're gonna curl up to our shoulders and press those dumbbells overhead. Bring it back down nice and slow. Controlling each stage of the movement. Great work, keep it up. Let's do one more. All right, very last exercise, we're going to do an oblique twist. So just grab one dumbbell for this exercise and we are going to be twisting from side to side. Getting in that nice ab work as well as those side abs, our obliques. Your abs are gonna look so good after this exercise. <laughs> Great work. One more on each side and rest. All right, put those dumbbells to the side. We're done with those for now. We're gonna head back over to our elliptical. Take a quick break if you need some water, if you need to stretch anything out. When you're ready, we're gonna bring that elliptical in front of us and get ready for our next set of intervals. So the second half of this workout is exactly the same as the first. So you know what we're doing. We're gonna be doing all of the same cardio intervals and then we're going to repeat those exercises with our dumbbells. So this time, let's make the most of each. Try to get in as many reps as we can with those dumbbells. And we're gonna be pushing ourselves as hard as we can on these cardio intervals. All right, so pick your poison whatever resistance you want. We have about 15 seconds and then we're gonna get started with our first interval, one minute. Remember, we have four total intervals, so pace yourself, but I do want you working as hard as you can, of course. All right, ready, set, 
let's do it. First one minute interval. And remember with these intervals, you can pick however you wanna sit. If you wanna sit recline like this, that's totally fine with me. If you wanna sit up in a more upright position like this, that's great too. In this position, you are going to be using a little bit more energy. You need more core strength as well as those postural muscles. So if you wanna challenge that, which is always good to do, then this is a great position to sit in if you are able. Keep pushing those legs. 20 more seconds. Come on, fight for it. I know those legs are tired because we already pushed them in the first round. We're gonna really burn them out now. Five more seconds. Stay with it. In three, two, and one. And rest. 30 seconds of rest. Soak it in. Nice deep breath. If you need to make any adjustments, maybe you wanna change your resistance for these last three, feel free. Second interval coming up in 10 seconds. Ready. In five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Push those legs. We only have three intervals left. So three total minutes of cardio. Let's push our legs and let's push our heart, our heart and our lungs. Let's see how hard we can push today. Now, whatever your pace is at home, you might be going slower than me, you might be going faster than me. Whatever it is that you can do today, however hard you can push yourself, that is perfect. I just wanna see your effort. As long as the effort is there, that's what counts. Almost there, you guys, 15 more seconds. Hold on to it. In three, two, and one. All right, rest. <sighs> Only two more intervals to go. You guys are doing amazing. If you need some water, feel free to grab some. <sighs> we are so close. This is where it starts to get harder because our bodies are tired, but you can do this. All right, so stick with it. No matter how you're feeling, we're gonna keep moving during these last two intervals and we're gonna finish the workout as best as we can. All right, ready? Interval number three, in three, two, and one. Here we go, pick it up. Really push that pace. Pushing into those foot plates. We are working all of those good lower body muscles right now. Keep moving. Halfway through, keep fighting for it. Keep breathing, you've got this. 15 more seconds, come on. Almost there, in five, four, three, two, and one. All right, slow it down, take a rest. Great job, you guys. Nice deep breaths. Let's try to control our breathing. We only have one more interval to go. So I want you guys to make it a really good one. Catch that breath. We have about 10 more seconds and we'll get into this last interval. Ready, set, let's do it. Pushing those legs as fast as we can. Come on, this is the last interval. So let's leave it all out there.
Keep breathing, keep moving. Halfway there. Come on, I know those legs are tired. See if you can push yourself harder. All the way through. Ten more seconds. Almost there. In three, two, and one. All right. Woo! Great job, you guys. Go ahead and move your elliptical off to the side. We're going to get back into our dumbbell exercises. Full body strength. We're going to go through this circuit once, and then we will get on with a nice little cool down. All right, so you guys remember the exercises. We're going to come out to the edge of that seat. First exercise is chair squats. All right, ready, grab those dumbbells. We're going to get started in three, two, and one. All right, spring out of that seat. Squeeze those glutes at the top. Great work. We're almost there. Give me a few more. Last one. All right, back into our calf raises. So dumbbells come right above those knees, support them with those hands. And we're gonna raise up off of those heels and onto our toes. All right, feel those calves tighten up as you lift off the ground. Keep pushing, almost there. All right, next up, getting into some upper body. So external deltoid rotation, hold those elbows nice and tight to your body. You're rotating those arms in and out. Great job, keep it up. We're almost there. We only have a few exercises left and then we'll be on to our cool down and on with our day. Keep pushing. In three, two, one, and curl to overhead press. When you get into that curl, keep those elbows in nice and tight. Pressing those arms straight overhead. Last one. All right, awesome job. Take that one dumbbell. We're gonna get into our oblique twist. So a nice side to side. Rotating our whole body from side to side. Keep it up. Feel those obliques working each time you twist. Core is nice and tight and engaged. Last few, last one. All right, drop that dumbbell. Great work, you guys. We are going to quickly cool down before I let you go for the day. So grab that elliptical. We're gonna bring the resistance all the way down to one. All right, and we have a nice and easy light cycle on this little elliptical here. Catch your breath. Let yourself relax. The hard work is over and you guys did an amazing job. 
Now with this workout, if you wanna keep using this in your regular routine, it's a great one for increasing your strength as well as your cardio base. It's a great little mix of those two. There's a lot of ways that you can make this workout harder. So increasing your resistance, your pace, as well as with these dumbbells, increasing that resistance as you get stronger. So I encourage you guys to continue working using this type of workout and working up to harder and more challenging resistances on both your elliptical and your dumbbells. Nice deep breathing. All right, last few seconds here and let's slow to a stop. We're gonna do some quick stretches. So first we're gonna stretch out our hamstrings. We used a lot of those today on our little bike. So one leg comes straight out in front of you, nice and straight. We're gonna lean forward from our hips, keeping that spine nice and straight and reach forward to touch that toe. If you can't reach the toe, just feel free to do your heel or your knee. Wherever you're at today, feel that nice stretch in your hamstring, that back of your leg there. Let's switch it to the other side. Nice and easy, nice deep breaths. Let yourself relax. And as you relax, try to get deeper into that stretch. All right, we're gonna stretch out our arms a little bit because we used those today. So nice shoulder stretch across your body, pressing that shoulder down and away from your head. And then we are pulling that arm as close as we can to our body. Good, shake it out and let's go to the other side. Nice deep breaths, let yourself relax. All right, release that arm, big breath up towards the sky, reaching those fingertips up, let it all out, one more. All right, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed this workout. We'll see you guys next time.